Last month brought a 2.3% gain in new home sales and a 0.6% and a increase in existing home sales. Distressed properties, which are short sales and foreclosures, represented only 18% of residential resales in April, the National Association of Realtors noted. Compare that with 28% of sales in April at this time last year. The National Association of Realtors also announced that the median existing home price was $192,800 in April, 11% higher than a year ago. The pace of new home buying has improved almost 30% in the past 12 months, according to the Census Bureau. The May 1st Federal Open Market Committee minutes were released last Wednesday, shortly after Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke mentioned the need to sustain the central bank's current stimulus efforts in, conference, in Congress. The minutes, however, noticed that a number of federal officials were open to scaling down QE3 as soon as June if economic indicators sufficiently improved. Concern and confusion about these mixed messages put more volatility into the markets and factored into a three-day losing streak for the S&P 500. Durable goods orders were up almost 3.5% in April. This contrasts with March's almost 6% decrease. With transportation orders factored out, the April increase was still 1.3%. Census Bureau reports have noted improvements in hard goods orders in two of the past three months, even with the sequester. While the small cap benchmark fell a little over 1% last week, it also made history on May 20th. It attained the 1,000 level for the first time. The rut settled Friday at 984, the S&P 500 down a little over 1% to 1649, the Dow down a little over 0.3% to 15303, and the Nasdaq also fell a little over 1% to 3459. Of course, uh, the markets were closed yesterday in, in observance of Memorial Day. We hope that you had a wonderful long weekend. Today, Tuesday, sees the release of the March S&P K Shiller Home Price Index and the Conference Board's May Consumer Confidence Survey. Not much uh, going on on Wednesday, but in addition to the new initial jobless claims figures, Thursday offers the National Association of Realtors report on April pending home sales and the federal government's second estimate of first quarter GDP. And finishing out the week on Friday, the Commerce Department issues its report on April's personal spending, and the University of Michigan also issues its final May Consumer Sentiment Survey. That's what we're looking at this week. My name is Eric Hagan. I'm Greg Petrie. We'll keep our finger on the pulse of the economy and report back to you next Monday. So please feel free to subscribe. We'll talk with you then.